the first change was the city deciding no parking on Stolly Park Road. Um, that sort of prompted some other changes um, because then it limited our parking options and our drop-off and pickup. So uh, we worked with the city to create a drop-off pickup zone on Stolly Park Road. So the south side of Stolly Park Road, parents can still utilize to drop off and pick up their students. There's a striped area that they can pull into briefly. They can't leave their cars unattended, but they can um, stop and pick up their student. Their student can meet them out there. And then in the parking lot, um, they created a double lane system where there's a drive-through lane and a pickup drop-off lane. So parents can pull into the pickup drop-off lane, pick up, drop off their child, and then pull into the drive-through lane which allows for traffic to keep flowing. It wasn't this large. It was extended out about 10 feet on the north side um, to provide room for those two lanes, as well as a walkway um, for student safety. About 240 students attend Stolly Park. It is a lot of parents and families, but hopefully we can work together. Student safety is our number one priority, so together if we can um, create a system that's efficient and safe, hopefully we can get that done. It's a different system. I think in the end it will hopefully be more efficient and we can um, do more drop-off and pickups at one time um, than what the old system was. So hopefully just the partnership between us and the parents, um, we can make this all more efficient and make it work more smoothly and quickly for them. Stolly Park is on the bond issue. Um, some, of the, some of the unique um, things about Stolly Park that put it on the bond issue is some narrow hallways um, that were created when additions were added, uh, hallways that are used for storage as well as passing through by students. It uh, creates some issues when students are two classes passing at the same time or trying to get media carts through, um, things like that. There's also our music is on, a, on the stage in the gym and the only thing blocking the music from the gym is a garage door that comes down, so sound uh, issues are a problem. We have uh, classroom sizes are just when we have classes of 23 students, classroom space issues um, are there as well. And so uh, modulars are never ideal when you have students traveling um, in, inside and outside of, the, or outside of the building to get into the main building, as well as moving resources in and out of the building to those creates some issues. So just some, some needs here at Stolly Park that would benefit students and families. The proposal is to build a new building on this site. So yes, they'll build a new school on this existing site.